Hello, welcome to another unboxing of SH Figuarts. Today we will unbox Sky Rider, the only common rider, at least during the Showa era, that could fly, as shown in the illustration over here. Skyrider. So besides the figure, you also get one extra part over here, which is it off first, a base that could be used for him. Like this. For his flying pose. Let's check this one out later. Just have to open. Box first, the glass shell. There you go, do we have inside? So we have the figure. We have one standard uh, slayer and one long slayer that you can use for the flying pose. Uh, two set of two sets of alternative arms, both are open this one is for the flying pose this one is standard open or perhaps you can use it also to grab something and the closed hands as the default one there we go sky rider playing the playgation is quite nice it's a bit shiny only uh, for the helmet, the gloves, and also the boots. And for the rest, it's not shiny, which is true to the series. And I like the way they do the belt, anti-gravity one, and with the pretty nice details right here and here. Let's check the articulation. Articulation for the hands is quite okay, even though it's a bit hindered. By the pad over here. That is not too bad. And then from the elbow down, it can move only to here. As for the legs, careful when you're posing your figure. And for the feet, yeah, maximum articulation. Nice. For the toe, normal. Much of a big problem. Cross. As for the head, 360 degrees with no problem at all. And I really like the details in the helmet. Compound transparent eyes. The details over here and behind, which makes him look like the locust, which is the animal he's based on. Okay, so let's try to change the hand into the one that he is using for flying. Yeah, take it off with no difficulty. That's good news. And just take one of each, you know, just to see. This one's not much of a difference. This one is totally flat, open hand, palm. This one is open but a bit curvy, so you can actually grab something with that. There we go. New hand. Let's try to put on this layer. See, there's the hole over there. Snap it in carefully. 
And also because there's this small part here on the back of the helmet, you have to turn it a bit before you can access the hole. hard to install and I'm not sure if it's already uh, put on and well but yeah, it's acceptable so it looks like this with the short one seems a bit too small but you can use it for normal posing but it's not flying now let's try with the bigger one Put on this part. This here we have a gigantic slayer. Looks more like a wing. And it seems that it has different way of installing. Because here you see there's this uh, ball joint that you can use to put on the head. So I think we should take off the head of the old, the uh, default head and neck before we can put that in. But to be sure. You can consult this leaf that that comes with the standard uh, and set blocks. And as you can see, yeah, you have to change the neck and the head first for the You just have to take it off slowly and there you go. The head. And you can take out this part as well, it seems. As shown here. It's a bit hard to take off, so be careful, not to break anything, that's how it looks like. And then you put this alternative neck with the scarf in there. Oh, there you go. Like that. Then you put on the head. And there you go. High rider, uh, this is posing flying pose. Uh, and it's hard to move the hand. As you can see, because of the pad, the hand cannot really go front like. But it could go like this. So, yeah, more or less it should go like this. Sky rider. Next, we will see what we can do with this. Okay, so now we have opened the plastic that contains the extra part that you can use for the flying pose. Here you have this two small piece of plastic you should take off from this one. If it's a bit hard to do by hand, you can use scissors, as I did. Yeah, it looks like this. If this, that we hold these two pieces together, and we have the pole and the pad. Now let's just install this one first, as shown here in the picture. So you just have to snap these two in, like this, basically. Yeah, maybe here we go. And then one end of the pole go inside here. This one is too big as you can see, so it's the other end. So it will look like this. Actually you can buy this kind of uh, effect separately, it is sold. It's called Tamashi Watsan Act, but it is quite generous for Bandai to already have it inside uh, Sky Riders. So you can actually directly use it for him without buying any uh, additional part. And here also in the in the clamshell, there's one additional part that you might need for the posing. It looks like this. And then as seen in the picture, you should put it on the belt part. Not sure how, but now we will see. So yeah, it looks like this. Doesn't seem to...
You just have to push it a bit, but I don't think it will stay there. Yeah, that's the best I can do. I don't know how to do it otherwise. And here, uh, for the other end, push this one, we put it on the stand. So I go like this. And then finally, let's consult this so again. Well, actually, it's uh, perhaps it's an optional part because here you could put it without this. You can put it directly here. There you go, and then put higher there. Yeah. So, voila, flying skyrider. But uh, it comes with this additional part that you can also use if you want a more variety of posing. Let's take that one off, put this in, oh. and it can move like this, like a claw. So you can actually uh, put it anywhere you want. For example, let's try the oh. right the pose if it's possible. At all. Let's see. We have the posing. Sorry for that pose. It's just like impromptu. Okay. Let's For example, you can put it here on the waist, and then you can recreate if you're more creative than me, which I'm sure that you are. You can create a more decent rider kick posing with this, which looks more or less like this. <laughs> voilà. Rider kick look like. So there you go, the reveal Skyrider, I'm quite satisfied with the figure, and I think it's really generous of Bandai to actually add this customized uh, stand act for him, which comes with a nice illustration, Skyrider Sailing Jump. So it's totally worth it if you're a Kamen Rider Showa era fan, even though it's a bit more expensive than the other uh, Kamen Rider Showa, except for Kamen Rider Black, this is quite rare, but let's definitely get one. Though it means if you're posing it like this, he couldn't really ride a bike. Well, they haven't really released the bike anyway, so... It's a very good option to posing while waiting for his bike to release. But hey, if you can fly, what should you ride? Thanks for watching.